jQuery is a library that contains lots of methods, which make it much easier to manipulate HTML documents, add animation, along with a bunch of other things. Since jQuery is a library, it has an API that we can use to access its functionality. API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it basically states the methods or functions we can call inside of our code if we import the library. For example, let's say we had a class named Blue and made its elements have blue text. We could use the add class method and add the blue class to all the p elements with something similar to this, where we'd have p.addClassBlue. This may be confusing right now, but don't worry, we'll figure it out. To start, we'll open Sublime and create an index.html file, so we'll go index.html, and then we'll also create a script.js file, and so we'll save this, and we'll put it in a folder called JS, and so we'll have that, and then we'll call this script.js, and this will hold all of our JavaScript and our jQuery code. And so going back to our HTML, we'll just add some boilerplate here, And we'll add a quick script tag here with js slash script.js, close it up here. And just like we did for our bootstrap, we're going to need to import the JavaScript library. And so we'll go and look up the link, jQuery link, and then add that into our code here. Scrolling down, we have the CDN. This is what we want. And since we're gonna be using jQuery in our script file, we're gonna to wanna to import this jQuery first. Save that, and then we'll add a header inside of our body, we'll call it an h1, and we're gonna set some styling to that. And so basically, we're gonna create this hidden header and we're gonna do some stuff to it. And so we'll have the style equal text align center, putting it in the center, and we'll give it the color white. So it's white text and it's hidden on, you know, this page with a white background. Then we'll give it the ID hidden, and we'll have the text be, I was hidden. And then close that each one. Now if we open this index.html in the web page, here we are, you'll see nothing's there. But if I highlight, I was hidden, that's there. What if we can make it so when I hover over this each one, this I was hidden, it reveals itself. So maybe it turns the text of this header black. Well, we can do this with CSS and jQuery. And so going back to our code, We'll go to our script and we're going to write some jQuery code using, you know, its libraries, its methods. Here we go. We'll say document dot ready function open close curly bracket. And so basically what will happen is this the inside of this thing will be called when the document is ready to, you know, load stuff. It's all ready to go. And so what we'll do is we'll add some code to be run once, you know, this document is ready to go. And so we'll say hashtag hidden dot hover function open close parentheses open close curly bracket and what this does is if I like hover over the thing with the ID hidden the code inside of this will be run and so basically this is setting up like hey if I hover over hidden like do this other stuff that's here and so what we'll want to do is if we hover over our header that has the ID hidden we'll want to select that hidden you know element and we'll want to say this you know this hidden element we're going to change its CSS and we're going to set the color property equal to black so now you can actually see this hidden thing and so what happens when I you know go away from the thing, so I move my mouse so it's no longer hovering over this hidden element, well, we'd want a place where we can add code that could be run, you know, once I move over my mouse. And so this would be a callback function. And so once I stop hovering over, you know, this hidden thing, then I would want this callback function to be called. And so here we go, we're running it, function, open close parentheses, this is what would be run if I stop hovering over this hidden thing. And so, we don't want anything to happen just yet, and so we'll leave that callback function empty, but it's important you have it. And then we'll add these semicolons, save it up, make sure this is saved, and then we'll go ahead and refresh our index.html. And we hovered over it, and now it's hidden. But of course, when it doesn't rehide itself once I stop hovering over it, but what if we wanted it to do that? Well, we could go back to our code, and we could actually hide it forever. It was one thing to make the text white, but if we go this dot hide, open close parentheses, and then add that semicolon save. Now when I refresh this, I'll hover over it, 
and then I'll leave it. But now when I try to find it again, it's gone. So it's like a James Bond, you know, your message self-destructs type of thing. But of course, if I refresh the page, I, you know, saw it for like two seconds and then it hit again. And then you can do it again. You can keep it over this. You go away. There you go. Back in our code, the hide function basically hides this element by setting this display property to none. And so you could accomplish this same, you know, hide thing if we did display none. But of course, this is, you know, less code. And so we use that instead. So we'll go ahead and comment that out. And if we go back to our index.html, we'll do one more example of how to use jQuery. And so if we add this button and we'll say alert me button, you know, save that up and we'll say button dot click function open close parentheses open close curly bracket. And so what will happen here is if I click the button, any button on the page, it doesn't have to be one specific button then this type of code will be run. If I wanted it to work for one specific button, I would do something similar to this, where I'd have a hashtag, you know, name, so it would be an ID, so that's only for one thing, versus this is a button, it's an HTML element, so any button I click, this will be run. And so inside of here, we'll, you know, send out an alert because our button says alert me. And so we'll go alerts, I'm alerting you. That's what the alert is gonna do. We'll save that. Go back here, we have this button, we click it, it alerts me. Could we have done this with plain vanilla JavaScript? Yes, but using the jQuery library makes a lot of this much easier to code and easier to read later on. Next week, we'll talk about AngularJS, which is a structural JavaScript framework that helps you build dynamic web apps. For the first time in the series, we will not be hard coding our content, but we'll be getting it from somewhere else. I hope you learned something in this week's episode and I'll see you next Friday.